Uh, praise the Lord, everyone. Amen. Well, once again, welcome to Midday Manor. Um, this is Apostle Craig. And, uh, well, um, as I was just saying, you know, before before the recording started, we're, we're, we're going to be coming from, um, what we're going to be talking about of Christ or of men. Uh, and last week, we actually went over this. Uh, we had two days that we talked about this on Tuesday and, and on Thursday. So I guess for all practical purposes, this would be, uh, part three, um, but I didn't record on last week, and, uh, you know, as I thought about it today, and, you know, being uh, honest with myself and, and, and looking in the mirror, you know, as as I like to say, um, the reason I didn't record is, you know, I kind of felt like, okay, uh, people ain't really listening no way, um, not, not so much you on the line, but I just felt like, hey, if they want to listen, they'll call in. If they, if, if they want to hear it, <laughs> they'll call in. If they don't, that means they don't want to hear it. So, um, but again, that's just me being 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 honest and being transparent with you guys. Um, so, uh, but I have to do what God has called me to do. And uh, and again, and this this recording has has had an effect on some people. I get you know I get inbox or. Um, replies on some of the stuff, you know, online, so it, it lets me know that it, it is going out, so, uh, you know, uh, don't be weary in well-doing, I guess, is, is the word that I'm speaking to myself, and even as I was corrected on this morning, um, which, again, which sparked me to look in the mirror about how I feel about certain things at certain times. Um, so, with all that being said, um, hey, man, I, 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 I hope you hear me and, and, and hear my heart. Amen. Uh, anybody got anything before we jump into this lesson today? Amen. Well, praise God. Um, once again, last week we talked. We, we came from Luke four uh, verses sixteen through twenty-two. But I want to look at something different today. Amen. I, I want to go to Ephesians four. Um, very familiar place. Uh, to, for me, uh, and those that have been around me any length of time, though, I, I usually refer to this uh, because I think sometimes the, the, the church has forgotten. Uh, but we're going to Ephesians 4. Ephesians 4. And I'm looking at this and I'm thinking how ironic that I'm actually, that my focal, fo fo focal verse is, is actually verse 16. So we was in Luke 4, verse 16 through 22 on last week. So the, and today we're, at, we're, we're in uh, Ephesians 4. Uh, beginning at verse 16, so again, um, I'll run it, amen? But let's look at this. We, we're going to start reading. Matter of fact, I'm just going to read all of them. I'm going to read from uh, 11 through 16, Ephesians 4, 11 through 16. And it says, <clears throat> And he himself gave some to be apostles, some prophets, some evangelists, and some pastors and teachers. For the equipping of the saints for the work of ministry, for the edifying of the body of Christ, so we all come to the unity of the faith and of the knowledge of the Son of God, to a perfect man, to the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ, that we should no longer be children, tossed to and fro and carried about with every wind of doctrine, by the trickery of men, and the cunning craftiness of deceitful plotting, but speaking the truth in love may grow up in all things into him who is the head, Christ, amen, from uh, verse 16, from whom the whole body joined and knit together by what every joint supplies according to the effective working by which every part does its share, causes growth of the body for the edifying of itself in love. Amen. I know that sounds like a mouthful. Amen. A whole lot. But again, Ephesians 4 verses 11 uh, through 16. And again, our topic or our subject area is of Christ or of men. Uh, said a whole lot on last week and, and, and really talked about, you know, um, uh, kind of how we, 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 we get off course and, and even to the point that, that many uh, churches, many of our buildings, many of our edifices uh, are filled on Sunday morning. Uh, and but the only, uh, but a really small percentage of those are of Christ. Um, there's the, the, the greater percentage is is of the church. <laughs> Amen. They like the way the church looks. They like the way the choir sings. 
They like the way the pastor preach. Um, you, you name it, different things. I like the fact that they got a children's ministry. I like the fact they got this. For, for whatever reason that draws you. Uh, but unfortunately, many aren't really connected to Christ. Amen. Many really haven't embraced Christ. Amen. Many haven't really chose to have Christ as Lord and Savior. Amen. In, in other words, it's about uh, uh, men and not of Christ. Amen. Uh, so, with that being said, um, we're, we're again, we're in Ephesians um, 4, uh, verses 11 through 16. Uh, any, anybody got any questions or comments so far? Amen. So, uh, again, the thing that I want to point out to us today is that there is, we need to know, amen, that there, there is already, uh, Christ has already decided how this thing is supposed to play out. Uh, and what I mean by that is when we go back and look at uh, the, the, the Great Commission, as we called it. Matter of fact, I'm going to go there. Uh, give me a minute to pull it up, amen. Matthew, uh, the 28th uh, chapter, Matthew, the 28th chapter, I'm going there, amen. Uh, I want to I put this into your hearing. Amen, and we and we gonna keep launching. Amen, but our, our foundational scripture again is Ephesians four, uh, Matthew twenty eight, uh, Matthew twenty eight. But he says in verse eighteen, uh, Matthew twenty eight and eighteen. He says, and Jesus came and spoke to them, saying, All authority has been given to me in heaven and on earth. Go therefore and make disciples of all the nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all things that I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. Amen. But the part that I want to concentrate on and, and just grab and, as we transition back to Ephesians is that teaching them to observe all things that I have commanded you. Teaching them to observe all things that I have commanded you. And what we've done is oftentimes in the church, we teach what, what the bishop done told us. We teach what the pastor done told us. We teach what our doctrine, our philosophy tell us. And we don't teach what the Lord has said. We don't teach Christ. We, but he says, teach all things that I have commanded you. It's because he's the foundation. So again, I'm, I'm proposing the question of Christ. Or of men, of Christ or of men, teaching them to observe all things that I have commanded you, what he has commanded. Why? Because he says all authority has been given to him in heaven and earth. This authority of heaven and earth is not given to me as your apostle. This authority is not given to your pastor or your bishop. This, it, this belongs to God. This is his authority. Amen. So we need to put people uh, in line or in communication with God. We need to push people to Christ, not to our denomination, not to our uh, 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 joint task force, if you will, not to our evangelism team, not to all these other uh, 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 groups that we set up, uh, 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 camps and all this other stuff. We need to push people to Christ. Hallelujah, somebody. Amen. Any questions or comments right there? Well, I almost felt like preaching right there. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Anybody? Hallelujah. Amen. Teaching them to observe all things that I have commanded you. Amen. Now, we're transitioning back over to Ephesians 4. To Ephesians 4. Now, look what he says in verse, in verse 11. And he himself, the same one that told these disciples this. Now, he, he, he told them, this, all things that I have commanded you. And look what he says. And he himself gave some to be apostles, some prophets, some evangelists, some pastors and teachers. Amen. Now, it's a sad thing that, again, that we can teach about everything else, but we don't believe there's no more prophets. We don't believe there's no more apostles, but here it is, right here in the scripture now, because once again, we'll teach our doctrine, we'll teach what man says, we'll teach what, uh, well, we don't believe this, well, we don't believe that, we'll, but no, here it is, and he himself gave some to be apostles, some prophets, some evangelists, and, uh, and some pastors and teachers, amen, and, and, but he goes on to say, verse 12, for the equipping of the saints, for the work of ministry, for the edifying of the body of Christ. Amen. So he's given us these things 
for the, 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 the equipping of the saints for the work of ministry. And I'm telling us that these, that this fivefold ministry, these things that he has given us, if we are not applying these things in our houses, and when I'm talking about the houses, I'm talking about God's house, the house of prayer, and our churches, and our ministry, if, if we're not uh, 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 supplying these five things, then the people become lacking in something. Amen. Because this is the blueprint. He gave, this is what he gave. He gave these five things. So there are so in, in essence, there are five uh, dimensions. There are five uh, levels. There are five uh, 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 these, 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 these giftings that it takes. Amen. To equip the saints for the work of ministry, whatever terminology, it takes these five to do this. Amen. Your, your bishop is not part of this. Amen. This is the apostles, the prophets, the evangelists, pastors, and teachers. Amen. Here it is. It's right here. Amen. So are we going to go with of men or are we going to go with of Christ? Amen. Of Christ or of men? Hallelujah, somebody. Questions or comments right there? Amen. Of Christ or of men? So he gave us these things for the equipment of the saints, for the work of ministry, for the edifying of the body of Christ. This is this is what it takes. Amen. So, again, we can choose to say, hey, look, I'm just going to do this. I'm just going to build this way. I'm just going to do that. And I'm telling you, not every ministry has all five of these gifts in operation. And that's why it is so uh, 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 paramount, it's imperative that we be connected with some other people. And I believe God did it. By design, that not that that not every house is functioning in all five gifts. Because if so, then you think you don't need nobody else. We got it all, Amen. There are some local ministries here that they people don't go nowhere. They don't fellowship. They don't do nothing with nobody else. And I'm telling you, they are lacking. There are some things they are missing. How do I know that? Why? Because the scripture tells me, for the equipping of the saints for the work of ministry. So although we're walking up through the doors of the church, we're not equipped for the work of ministry, for the edifying of the body of Christ. You just go into church. You're just part of a church. Amen? Why? Because you're missing these things. Hallelujah. Amen? So, once again, uh, it goes on to say, till we all come to the unity of the faith and of the knowledge of the Son of God, to a perfect man, to the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ. Once again, I'm out for it. That's verse, that's verse 13. But what, but what it's telling us is, and, the, and as we look around, can we see that the church is in the unity of the faith? Amen. And I believe that's an absolute no. We know that we're not in unity. Amen. So half of us don't even talk to each other. Amen. We, we, we say that we're saved. We say that we're in the body of Christ. But many of us, from church to church, from house to house, we don't even talk to each other. Amen. You got blacks over here. You got Hispanic over there. You got whites over here. You got, you know, and every now and then you may get a little touch of this, a little touch of that. Amen. Your little sprinkle here. Hey, man, I hop five you on my way over here or whatever the case may be. But the truth is, we're not in unity. We're not in unity, and definitely not of the faith, because once again, we don't even believe that, hey, there's no more apology, there's no more private, there's no more this, and, and we uh, allow these things to prevent us from having unity. So once again, is it of Christ or of men? Amen? The scripture is, is written, and, and he ain't changed. This, this is how it's done. Amen? This is, this is how disciples are made. Amen? This is how people are equipped through these gifts. Amen? And again, I'm not here to 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 today to to heart and say, hey, you need to accept this, you need to accept that. That's not what I'm getting at. But the point that I'm making is, we a, 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 a lot of us have been established or or built or our foundation is of men and not of Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. Once again, questions or comments? Amen. Till we all come to the unity of the faith and of the knowledge of the Son of God, to a perfect man, to the measure, to the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ. In verse 14, that we should no longer be children, tossed to and fro, and carried about with every wind of doctrine, by the trickery of men, and the cunning craftiness of deceitful plotting. 
So once again, if we got all these five things in work, if people are, are, are literally have actually taken up their, their, their gifts and people are being equipped, amen, and, and, and really being equipped for the work of ministry and the, and edifying the body of Christ, then it tells us that we'll no longer be children. And what you'll find is in and around the church, there are so many children. How do you know they're children? Because if they don't have their way, they sit in the corner and cry and pout and whatever. Amen. If you correct them, amen, they, 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 they don't poop in their diapers, amen. I'm talking about grown folk, amen. But, uh, <laughs> amen. But, but it, it says that, hey, but, but when you're being uh, equipped for the work of ministry, for the edifying of the body of Christ, when these, when, when, when these gifts are in operation, amen, when these gifts are instructing and teaching you, amen, no longer will you be children. No longer. No longer will you be tossed to and fro and carried about with every wind of doctrine. In other words, you're going to have some sure footing. I'm going to have some sure footing. We're going to be, we're going to be sound. Amen. Why? Because we, we we are allowing the things of Christ, amen, to equip us and not that of men. Hallelujah. Amen. In other words, men is milk. God is me. Hallelujah, somebody. Amen. And, there's an, and, and no longer will you be on milk because you're no longer a child. Amen. No longer will, uh, will I be on milk because no longer am I a child. Amen. No longer will I be tossed to and fro and carried about with every wind of doctrine. And, th and what it means is uh, if, if we, when, when we're rooted and grounded in the things of God, when we've been equipped, amen, people can come and say some off-the-wall stuff. You can be in the... You, just like I said about, about unity of the faith, you can go into another ministry, amen, you can walk up in there and be in fellowship, and, and, and when the word of God comes across, you can know that's not of God, or you'll know that it is of God. And, and the way you know this, amen, is because you're not carried away with every wind of doctrine, amen. Why? You've been equipped. Hallelujah, somebody. Amen. You've been equipped, so you know, Amen, that it's not the doctrine of men that's going to get that's going to get a response out of me, but it's of that of Christ. Why? Because He's watching over His word to perform it. He's not watching over your doctrine. Hallelujah, somebody. He's not watching over the traditions of men. He's not watching over the doctrine over the denominations of men. Hallelujah. Amen. Of Christ or of men. Questions or comments? Amen. So, uh, again, by every wind of doctrine, he goes on to say, by the trickery of men. Amen. So it lets us know that, uh, 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 that there are some men that are, that, that are tricking, hallelujah, and using trickery in the pulpit. Amen. There are some ministries that are set up, amen, that look like they're prospering, people running in and out the door. I mean, funds coming from everywhere, amen. They got all kind of grants. They got people tithes and offerings. They got all kind of stuff. And I'm telling you, the foundation is based on trickery. And I know it's so because it's in the scripture. Amen. We know that this word was inspired, breathed upon by God. Amen. Timothy told us so. Once again, the word of God, it told us so. It said, but there are some trickery of men. So the, the, the trickery, this doctrine, the stuff that they're talking about, hey man, I'm not going to be moved by that. The trickery of men and the cunning craftiness of deceitful plotting. All together, all that stuff in the trickery and, 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 and craftiness and deceit, hey amen, about how we can, you can do this and do that. And, and people just have a way of, 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 of influencing and moving people, hey amen, because God has gifted them in, the, in, in some areas. They turn it around and use it for trickery. They turn it around and use it for craftiness and deceitful plotting, amen, even though they're gifted to do a thing. Oh, I know I'm in the Word. So once again, and we're moved by that. Why? Because we're not, we haven't been equipped. <laughs> amen. We haven't been equipped for the work of ministry. Why? Because we haven't had these gifts, amen, to literally pour into our lives. Amen. Amen. So, uh, he goes on to say, verse 15, but speaking the truth in love may grow up in all things into him who is the head, Christ. Amen. Once again, but speaking the truth in love may grow up in all things into him who is the head, 
Christ. Amen. So, and, and that's what our aim is to be, to grow up. Amen. Speaking the truth in love. Amen. So whatever the truth is, just like I said, you're in a place and, and, and you're hearing the word of God and you uh, uh, what's supposed to be, the, and you said, that ain't right. Amen. But you don't have to stand up and you don't have to stand up in front of it. You don't know what you're talking about. You ain't got no. You can you the, the truth is so you know and you can still love them. And if God gives you an opportunity to minister to them or, or just to share with them, you you can be able to to, to 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 give them this thing. Why? Because it's done in love. And Christ is love, and He'll give you the way to do it. But you don't have to force your way, uh, Amen. To, to to say that I know you're wrong. I know you're in trickery. I know you. I don't have to force my way in there. But God will give us wisdom. Amen. Why? Because we equip. <laughs> we equip for the work of ministry. Amen. And the work of ministry is that of love. Amen. So the work of ministry is, is, is not necessary to hit you overhead with a brick. Amen. But if God tells us to do that, then by all means, then that, that's what we got to do. Amen. But uh, the, 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 the point that, that, that I'm getting to here is that, that we may grow up in all things into him who is the head. Amen. Once again, may grow up in all things into him. Amen. So what does that mean? That, that we're to be looking like Christ. We're to, once again, may grow up in all things into him. Once again, may grow up in all things into him. Amen. In other words, we're to be looking just like Christ. Amen. We're to grow up into him. Who is the head? Christ. Christ is the head. We're to be looking like Christ. Amen. We're, we're, we're to be representing just like him. And it's going to take these gifts. Amen. It's going to take him because he was all these things. He, he was the apostle. He was a prophet. He was an evangelist. He was a pastor and a teacher. Amen. So all these things are wrapped up in him. Amen. So and when we're instructed in these things and by these gifts, we begin to look like him. Hello, somebody. We begin to grow up in all things into him who is the head, which is Christ. Hallelujah. And here go that verse 16. Look what it says. From whom the whole body, the whole body, join and knit together, <coughs> excuse me, join and knit together by what every joint supplies according to the Effective working by which every part does its share causes growth of the body for the edifying of itself in love. Now, let's break that down a little bit. Again, we're talking about of Christ or of men. It says, from whom the whole body join and knit together by what every joint supplies. So let's, again, from whom the whole body. So it, it tells us that this whole body, it ain't just about uh, my church. It ain't just about your church. Amen. We all make up the body of Christ, supposedly. Amen. But it says, from whom the whole body joined and knit together. Amen. So, are we joined and knit together? And once again, I, it, it talked about unity before. The truth is, we are not joined and knit together. Amen. And it says, by what every joint supplies. But if you don't even acknowledge that, that, that I am a joint... <laughs> But if you can't even acknowledge that I'm that I'm that, that I'm a part of the body, of course we will never be joined in this together. But it says joining this together by what every joint supplies. Now I'm here to tell you that every that every uh, a, a ministry that that that's out today, that every ministry that's, that's in our community is not a joint. Amen. It, it, it is not meant to supply anything. Amen. Uh, necessarily, in, in this case, to the body of Christ. Amen. Because again, why? Because it's set up. Amen. Tr uh, on the trickery. It's set up on the craftiness of deceitful plotting. Amen. Now, do I do, do I think some people set up and, 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 and believe that this is what they thought God was was saying to them? Yeah, I believe that. Amen. But that, don't, that still don't make it right. Hallelujah, somebody. Amen. Still don't make it right. So again, uh, and the reason they did it because somebody told them that this is what. So there it is, of men and not of Christ. Are you hearing this? Questions or comments, right there. Amen. So from whom the whole body joining it together by what every joint supplies according to the effective working by. Uh, by which every part does its share. So that that we all have a part to play. Amen. And, and, and the reason we know that is it's just not about what I do. Amen. I need to know what I do affects you. Amen. 
And it's not, you know, because I go out here and I, and I minister today, amen, and I talk to Sister So-and-So or I talk to Brother So-and-So, that that means they have to come to my church, amen, that they have to come to my ministry, that they got to be connected with me. No, it's for the body, amen, it's for the whole body. Not just for me. So if they decide that, hey, they're going down the road, they're going to be over here, to God be the glory. Amen. It's for the body. Amen. And I've done my part. Amen. I've done my part. Amen. To give a word. I've done my part to, 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 to supply. Amen. And it is what it is. Why? It causes growth of the body for the edifying of itself in love. Amen. For the whole body. Amen. For the whole body. Not just for my ministry, amen, but the unfortunately of men says, hey, hey, you're supposed to be over here with me, hey, this this, this, this is where your grandmama went to church, hey, you're supposed to be, because this is, you know, your daddy used to be a part of this, hey, you're supposed to be over here, cause, but again, that's not for the whole body, that's for you, amen, of men, not of Christ, hallelujah, somebody, any questions or comments, once again, before I close this out, of Christ, or of men. Hallelujah. Amen. Uh, once, I'm going to read verse 16 one more time. From whom the whole body joined in it together by what every joint supplies according to the effective working by which every part does its share causes growth of the body for the edifying of itself in love of Christ or of men.